This is Gene Key, KDD News. Amarillo.com reports an Amarillo man was sentenced Friday to 24 years in prison after a Potter County jury convicted him of sexually assaulting a child. After about five hours of deliberation, the jury sentenced Marco Antonio Morales to 24 years on both counts of aggravated sexual assault of a child. Morales, 28, will serve 12 years on each count before he is eligible for release on parole. On Thursday of last week, the jury in the 108th District Court convicted Morales for the June 2008 assault after deliberating for less than an hour. ConnectAmarillo.com reports actress-producer Tia Leone visited with the Amarillo Chamber of Commerce recently to discuss filming a movie in Amarillo this fall. Leone spent a lot of time in Amarillo as a child. Leone said she wanted to base her next movie in Amarillo because of the great memories she had here. The movie is about a divorced woman who, along with her two children, moves back to Amarillo and lives with her parents. Filming is set to begin this September and to last three to four weeks. MyHighPlains.com reports it's been a good couple of decades since gas was 50 cents a gallon. Until Friday night in Sunray, Brent Brown, CFO of Sunray Co-op, reported gas prices as low as 50 cents a gallon Friday, along with lines down the street. The prices were part of a gas price war between Sunray Co-op store and the local Alsops. The two had started undercutting each other's prices a couple of weeks ago, but only by a penny or so until Friday. If you couldn't make it, don't hop in your car just yet. Prices were back up to $3.25 a gallon on Saturday. If you'd like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD News.